Okay, so now I can do these um, searches, right? And they return in. And then I can, for example, ask questions such as how many movies with love in the title? So, like this, I'm going to ask keys. So, actually, I need the body only. Body. Uh, so, I can. Okay, so I can ask stuff like how many results with love, let's call it, so there is 8,580 movies with love in the title, okay, now let's, let's do like this, then love and then hate. To compare. So now I want to see the results for hate 179 and love. So love trumps hate. But let's see if it's really true. Let's see how many peace and how many. So, peace, 299, and war, 4,310. So, war trumps peace. Okay. Unfortunately, so what I can do. Uh, for example, is have a look at the titles of these movies. For example, I want to vec I want to collect the titles of the movies. So if I look at the results, I can see I get this vector. What is it? It's a vector or a map with. Um, with these keys, and I want, I'm interested in the original title for now. Okay, so I can do something like that. Map. Did I? Yeah. Okay, so now I have titles. Now, I, if you can see, if I count them, I have 20 uh, results. That's because if I ask the, the results, I can see that I'm just with my first page. There are 20, 117 of them. And that's where it gets interesting because now I can build another function which, let's say, will iterate over all the pages, or I can say recurse over, over the pages, and collect the, the titles of. Of all, that's that's why it's interesting, right? Because this is um, the next step, and and we will see that we need to be a bit careful with how we do that, and that there are many ways to do it, and there are better ways and, and interesting ways, and we're gonna learn in the process. So the idea is to be exhaustive and get all the titles.